Hi guys, welcome back again to the course. Um, today we're going to be talking through a little bit more on your shopping setup and specifically how to create your shopping feed. So if you'd like to navigate to your merchants.google.com account and log in accordingly, once you come in, you'll come into this overview page um, and then you'll be in your relevant account ready to set up your shopping feed. Now, what you need to do is you need to click here on the left hand side to products, drop down onto feeds. And then here you'll have the option, um, ignore my screen, I've currently got a feed in here already that's processing. So I'm gonna talk you through how to create and upload your first feed. So if you just go ahead and click on the plus option, we'll talk through each section. So make sure that you have the correct country of sale. And um, so that's where you're going to be selling your products. Um, in my case, that's, it's Australia. In your case, it might be the United States, the United Kingdom, Spain, whatever it is, pop in the relevant country of sale. And then also choose the relevant language. So I've got the option of Chinese or English. In my case, it's going to be for English. And then the destination in this case is ready to create shopping ads. So we'll leave that ticked and we'll go ahead and continue. Then you're just gonna go ahead and name your feed. Um, in this example, I'm gonna call this test um, demo just because I'm just doing a demonstration. It's not the feed that I'm going to be using, um, but please create this name so you know exactly what the feed is. And then you've got multiple options for how to go ahead and set up your feed. Um, so it might be that you have a feed um, of just a few products that you've created within a Google Sheet, then you'll leave the Google Sheets option ticked. Um, you can schedule a fetch um, from your website. Um, you can upload a, a file that's on your account here. You can do a website crawl, or you can use Content API. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the schedule fetch option. So if we we'll click on here and I'm going to continue. So this is when you've got a file URL that you'll pop in um, where the feed is hosted. Um, so again, I'm just gonna call this test demo feed. And we want this to be fetched frequently to ensure that the feed is consistently up to date and keeps our products up to date within the Google Merchant Center. Um, so I always recommend a daily fetch and probably in the early hours of the morning. So let's just say 4 a.m. and make sure your time, zo time zone is um, correct for your specific business. Then I'm gonna go ahead or you can go ahead to pop in your final um, URL for your feed. So this is for the Three Warriors account and this is the feed um, URL that we want to use. In some cases, um, if someone else has set up your feed, maybe a dev um, tech service um, company, then there might be a password protected on the actual feed. If that's the case, please pop in the username and password for that so it can access the file URL. If not, you can go ahead and um, click create feed. And then once this done, it'll come through and that's your feed submitted. So we can see this test demo feed file here. And then if you actually go into um, back to your products, um, you'll see um, everything's starting to pend once it starts to um, process the feed. So mine's already got these kind of disapprovals, etc. And that is because I've already previously uploaded a feed into the account. It's gone through the processing stage. It'll give you a list of what's kind of going on down here if there's any issues. So mine's still going through the initial review, which means it, it can take a couple of days basically to go through. Um, it's got a missing value of shipping, which I'm going to fix in a different video and I'll show you. Um, the shipping option is in this section under settings. Um, and then there's a couple of other errors that's affecting one item. So again, this area here will tell you how many of your items are being affected by it. So I've got 12 products in this feed and all 12 are being affected by the initial review and the missing shipping, which will be fixed um, once we go through the next section and then these other areas which will have to be identified and fixed also. So if you leave that to process and then come back to review, um, that is your first feed uploaded and ready to go. Thanks guys.